All right, are you excited? Because I'm excited. Wolf, it is actually here. We know every single thing about it, all the official specs. We're going to go through them. And let me tell you, these are the laptops of your dreams, especially one of them. I'll get into that. Now, if you guys are new around here, come on, sub up, because I'm going to slam these laptops. I'm going to buy both of them. It's actually just occurred. I have to buy both of them. So if you want to donate PayPal down in the description, please do. But anyway, no one's going to test them like I do. And leave a thumbs up if you already know that. My subscribers already know that. No one will test this XPS 15 out like me. Now, this is actually a leak from a French website. So it's going up. So that means very soon it's going to come out. So we're expecting May this launch, we know all the specs, we'll get into that, look at that, woof, 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 yes, every single thing, thanks to the guy that actually sent me these leaks, I can't find his comment now, I don't know where it's gone, but you know who you are, thanks for sending these to me, and it looks like they've addressed every single thing, and I promise you, by the end of this video, your floppy will turn into a solid state, and I can tell you now, I thought my old fella was in retirement, but I felt movement at the station when I saw the specs, so let's start with the 15 inch, how sick is that? Hell, fleek, dope, whatever adjective you want to use. How good is it? Now, come on, Dale. I wish you'd make one with a white deck, but that carbon fiber looks cool, but it does get fingerprints. I mean, I assume it's the same sort of soft touch, but look, no bezels, no bezels whatsoever. And what you can see there on the right-hand side is that's a USB-C. That's not Thunderbolt. So we're thinking four Thunderbolt 3 ports. Well, that's with the 17. We'll get to that in a sec. But as you can see there, USB-C, an SD card slot, so it has the SD card slot, and look, the smallest bezels you're going to see. I mean, a lot of these laptops now that they claim they're Infinity bezel, they've got more chin than a Chinese phone book, so this one here is quad Infinity. It's like small bezels all the way around. I'll leave a slideshow at the end, yeah, it looks amazing. Have a look at this. I'll just show you something from the product page, and what it says on the product page is, from dual fans separated to spread the heat over a large area, the dual heat pipes hit an exhaust venting through the hinge. Thermal design ensures that you have the best performance system in the thinnest possible form factor. So yes, they've done some work on the thermals and you can see that here. Also what we can see is one of the things I feared was <laughs> soldered in RAM. The Wi-Fi is soldered in, but that RAM is upgradable. Okay, and it doesn't look like the motherboard's inverted either. It looks like that RAM goes on top there, so it doesn't look like it's inverted. You can see there that heat spreader. That is going not only over the CPU and GPU, you can see it's around the sort of VRM area, power delivery area, and it looks like around the RAM there. Separate fans, new thermal design, yes, what we hoped for, right? You can also see there the bezel of the old model. Look at that chin versus that. Amazing, right? They've got rid of that chin. On the left-hand side, this is two Thunderbolt 3s. Of course, you can see new speakers, new keyboard. Now, I do assume that this means you can only charge on the left-hand side because we'll get into the specs later. I don't think you can charge on the right-hand side, even though it's USB-C on the right-hand side, two Thunderbolt 3s on the left, and SD card. Perfect I.O. there. As you can see here, perfect I.O. Look how thin it is. Oh, it's so sexy. It is very sexy. Now, they do have to make the lid a bit thicker on these XPSs because usually they have a touch version, right? So that's why the lid has to be thicker than, say, the Mac. Now, if we look at the CPUs, we can see you can get an i5, two i7s, and an i9. I actually didn't think they were going to do two i7s. I thought they would have just have an i7 and an i9. So clearly here, they're pretty much giving you the option of all the processors. But it does say the i9 is available post-launch. So right here, I assume that Intel are having problems, you know, keeping up with this 14 nanometer process. Can you believe they can't make enough 14 nanometer? Anyway, as I said, these two laptops are shaping up as the laptop of your dreams, especially the 17 inch, because there are some extra things on that. Now, indeed, we can confirm the GTX 1650 Ti, 4GB. That's the graphics card going in the XPS 15. You have more options with the 17. Also, Windows Home and Windows Pro. Just get the Windows Home. Look in my description. I'll have a link and a discount for Windows 10 Pro upgrade and even Office 2019. Doesn't matter whatever laptop you got. If it's on Windows Home, you can upgrade it. Check out the description. So that's good. Everything's checking out here. Now let's look at the display options. We have a 500 nit, two 500 nit displays, okay? Because you have a 4K Ultra HD Plus. So it is 16 by 10. It's 500 nits, 100% Adobe RGB. Now they've tuned it for Adobe RGB. 
that's more for photographers and stuff like that reflective coating and then you have the full hd plus of course you're going to get killer battery life with the full hd plus they have changed the battery size but this is good right 500 nits wide color gamut with the 4k it is touch as well and then you also have a full hd plus and it even says dolby vision for the full hd plus so it should be a good display and they say hdr 400 certified or whatever only time will tell of course we have up to 64 gigs ram and it is 2933 megahertz of course it's faster here only one M.2, okay, with the 15 inch. Now, 17 inch, you get two. Now, I was really hoping it would have two M.2s. You have to go to the 17 inch for that, but yeah, you can get up to two terabytes there. I've explained the ports, no problem. And here we can see the weight. It's pretty much the same weight as the last one, but with a smaller battery. Okay, so it's 86 watt hour batteries. So they've lost around 10 watt hours of capacity there yeah considering it's the same sort of weight that's interesting i will say here if you have a look at the sizes you can see the old one in the green it is smaller so maybe they can't fit in the battery because it is a smaller footprint i don't know about that i would prefer a bigger battery i'm not worried so much about the footprint i know it's going to be the most compact 15 inch out there there's no doubt about that and you can see the xps 17 in the blue so around the same sort of weight but a smaller package with a smaller battery honestly don't know if that was the right call by dell maybe the temp generation they're going to be more power efficient the cpus but anyway and there's one other thing that's interesting here is you have two Wi-Fi 6s and they're both soldered on. So I think what's happening here is they're using the old 1650. Well, I say old, it is one of the latest Wi-Fi modules out there. But I think they're going to move to the Qualcomm one, as, as it says here, after launch. And you can't change it. That's the thing, right? And also you have the option of the 56 watt hour and the 86 watt hour battery. I mean, it will be lighter with that smaller battery. As you can see there, it's a four pound laptop or a 1.83 kilo laptop if you get the small battery. And it's 18 millimeters thick. Nice, small, compact thing. I've got to say my takeaway from that is it's getting a smaller battery. Wi-Fi soldered in are the only negatives I see and not having Thunderbolt 3 on both sides. But all in all, what I can see there, it looks amazing. Getting a new thermal design. You can still upgrade the RAM. And it just looks so damn sexy. Sexy. Yes. But then there was the 17 inch. And if I was going to design a laptop of my dreams, this would be it. This would be it's pretty much as close to it. Okay. Now, I don't like the Dell logo there. I've never liked that. I wish they'll put XPS there. Whatever. As I've shown you before on the size chart, they're the sort of size difference you get with the 17 inch. If I just show you Aero and a MacBook Pro 16 together, you can see there, look how much bigger that display is. Big 16 inch display. And the fact that it's 16 by 10. Can you imagine a 17 inch 16 by 10? on an XPS 17, how big that display is going to be. It's going to be awesome for content creation. Here's an exploded view there. Well, I can't say they've worked on the thermals because they've never had an XPS 17. I don't know, they had one in the old days, I think. But, um, you know, it's been a long time. It still looks super sexy. It's just a bigger version of the XPS 15. But here we go. Four Thunderbolt 3 ports. Four charge either side i guess because there's no power port that has to be a headphone jack so i don't know what sort of power pack they're going to have it's going to have to be a custom usb-c that can do more than 130 watts i can't imagine the package here that they're going to have 130 watts they're going to have more than that because look wolf 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 rtx 2066 gigabyte and here's the thing you hear this all the time and you guys that are interested in the xps 15 i assume you know this and it's like oh I'll get this other laptop with rtx friggin 2070 and this and that and whatever and they're talking about gaming laptops that deafen you they look like friggin spaceships the ergonomics aren't right the battery life sucks and they're comparing it to this sexy thing here and it's like you just don't get it, do you? For a lack of a better way of comparing it, this is the MacBook Pro of Windows, okay? And there's nothing else like this in the Windows world, all right? The XPS. It's the only one that's like a MacBook Pro. And I'm not saying that's better, worse, whatever. I'm just saying 
It's not a gaming laptop, and long should it not be. So the thing is here, I will do a buyer's guide on what you should get. I reckon you should get the 8-core i7 if you can afford it. Of course, 10th generation Intel CPUs, you can get the i9. Now, if the i9 can be undervolted and overclocked and it's got a good thermal system, yeah, maybe get that i9. Especially if you can't undervolt the i7s, the i9 might be worth it, as long as you don't mind tinkering. As you can see, Windows Home Pro, link in the description where you can get that cheap. So upgrade it. The big deal about the 17 inch is the four Thunderbolt 3 ports, two M.2 drives, and the option of an RTX 2060. And for me, I've proven many times, it doesn't matter for Adobe products at the moment, whether you've got an RTX 2070 or a 1050, there's not that much difference in Premiere unless you're doing heavy GPU effects and stuff like that. After Effects, a different kettle of fish, but certainly in Premiere, in the timeline and exporting, is virtually stuff all different. But the reason I've wanted a better graphics card in the XPS 15 is not for the power. I just want that 6 gigabytes of RAM. That's what I want. Especially if you're dealing with content that is over 4K, you want that extra video memory. It always helps out. So this is amazing that this has it. Two M.2 drives. The bigger battery you get with this as well, you get the full 97 watt hour battery and two M.2 drives. And it's rateable. You can rate it, rate zero, rate one. Uh, it's just going to be amazing, this thing. Two times two terabytes you can get. Now, weight and size. It starts at 2.11 kilos, 4.65 pounds. Whew, that's light. That's with the small battery. To get the big battery, 2.5 kilos or 5.53 pounds. So you're looking at what is it? Yeah, 500 grams, so half a kilo heavier there. So for me, I will get in both. Trust me on that. Subscribe to see it. Make sure you sub up because I will test them. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be poor after buying two of these. But for me, they both look like awesome laptops. But the 17-inch with the two M.2 drives, the RTX 2060 option. And let's have a look at the displays for a sec. So you can see here with the displays, both 500 nits. They're going to be good displays. I'm pretty sure by the spec, they're the same displays as the 15, but bigger. So they're probably from the same vendor there. So that is awesome. Because always the worry with 17-inch laptops, because 15-inch laptops outsell 17-inch laptops, sometimes they get the crappy display options. But it looks like you're still getting great display options with this 17-inch. I will say here, if we have a look. Now, if we do have a look here quickly, if you just want an overview of the difference between the two, 86 watt hour battery with the 15 inch, 97 watt hour battery with the 17 inch, two Thunderbolt 3s and one USB-C for the 15 inch, four Thunderbolt 3s for the 17 inch, RTX 2060 for the 17 inch, 1650 Ti for the 15 inch and for both of them, dual NVMe only on the 17 inch, soldered in Wi-Fi but RAM can be replaced and yes it does have an M.2 drive, so woof, woof, woof. That is it. I'm going to do a buyer's guide. The laptop of my dreams is that 17 inch. Wow. If I was going to design one, that would be it. And the 15 inch is close to that as well. So <laughs> these things are amazing. Um, let me know down there in the comments what you think. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Stay tuned because the XPS content is going to come as soon as I can get one or two. Oh, man, I'm going to be poor. Tally ho.